。好，跟住咧就到第三條題目啦。咁當年就有六啊八個 percent 嘅人答啱啦。咁啊，條題目就問啦，下面 A、B、C、D 邊一個咧係導致到棵植物有一個向上升嘅水流？嘅主要原因嗱，係嘅主要原因就唔係普通原因嚟嘅，咁陣間都要解一解嗰個誒題目啦。咁當然啦，就要睇一睇啦。定義上面 o、okay? k a s c e n t of water 咁啊，呢個所謂上升，咩叫水流嘅上升呢？咁其實就係一個 upward 嘅 water stream 啦，係咪？咁講到明啦，係一個向上流嘅水流啦。咁當然自不然就係講緊我哋嘅 transpiration pool 啦，係咪啊 ？OK， 咁咧咧就係有我哋呢個蒸騰牽引力啊。而蒸騰牽引力係點樣導致㗎？蒸騰牽引力呢，就係、是、由呢個 transpiration 蒸騰作用所導致㗎嘛，係咪？而蒸騰作用係一個咩嘅概念呢？其實呢條題目就係想考呢一樣嘢啦，蒸騰作用就係一個失水嘅概念，一個 water loss 嘅概念。咁所以啦，如果要睇 A、B、C、D 嘅話咧，咁唔難理解嘅，一定 A 噶啦。而跟住啦，再到 option B 咧，點解佢錯呢？咁其實、呃、option B 呢度咧就考下大家啦，究竟咧一棵植物咧，究竟佢係 water loss 先啦、啊，失水先啦、啊，定係 water uptake 先咧？咁其實咧就係、是、water。loss 先會有 water uptake 啦，咁呢個咧棵植物嗰樹啦，一開始咧就係呢個 water loss，OK，、okay? 有呢個 water loss 嘅時候啦，就喺翻嗰個 s i l o m e s s 喺個木質部咧，就產生到一個蒸騰嘅牽引力，咁所以咧應該係先有失水，再有吸水嘅，跟住去到 C part 啦，就完全係不著邊際啦，就係、是、嗰個樹幹啊有幾粗 ，OK。得嘛？咁呢個都唔關佢事啦。樹幹粗幼呢，其實都會令到棵植物呢係吸得到水嘅。反而嗱係啲嘅啫，啲呢，咁可能有啲同學呢就有機會呢都會。揀錯呢一個，除咗 boy 之外 ，OK 啊 boy 就係講吸水啦，咁 D 就係話啦，喺嗰個木質部嗰個直徑啊，咁其實呢一度咧都係考緊另一個概念嘅，就係、是、叫做 capillary effect， 一個無細管作用。咁你話啦，佢有誒、呃、對於吸水有冇一個誒、呃、角色喺度咧？其實佢係有嘅。只不過今次嘅題目係問你主要原因啊嘛，咁當然就緊係講緊個失水啦，係咪 ？Capillary effect 呢，其實就係講緊啦，一條好有嘅管啦，咁你將佢啦擺喺一兜水上面嘅話啦，啊你有兜水啦 ，OK， 跟住啦你將一條好有嘅管擺落去嘅時候呢，咁其實就係經過呢個無細管作用 ，OK， 咁啲水呢，就係會根據呢個咁嘅大氣壓力呢 o k 就抽咗上去嘅，咁呢個呢，就係一個 capillary effect 啦。但係啦 ，capillary effect 係咪導致到誒呢、呃這個蒸騰牽引力向上拉啲水上去嘅主要原因呢？就不是。咁所以點解今次咧答案就係 A 啦 ？So let's take a look at question number three. So there were sixty-eight percent students they got it correct. So the question is talking about which of the following is the major cause、uh, that accounts that explain okay for the ascent of water in the tree. Let's take a look at the definition first. So for the ascent of water, that means the upward of the water stream, and that means the transpiration pool along the silent vessels. And of course, for the transpiration pool, uh, from what we learn in the chapter of transpiration, we know that it's due to the transpiration. That means the water loss. So that's why, uh, very easily, so we can take the answer. A, but for、uh, option B, C, and D, so why they are not correct? So let's take a look the explanation. So for the option B, uh, actually is checking the concept of the water absorption and water loss. Which one comes first? So that's why what we know that of is fall from the tree. So we can see that actually they there is a water loss first, and then there will be a upward water stream. Uh, is produced. Then what we call it is the transpiration pool. So that's why option B is just checking the concept. Water loss should come first, and then water uptake follow. Okay, so that's the concept of lag behind. Water uptake lags behind the water loss. Okay, so that's the concept. And then uh, uh option C is uh irrelevant. Okay, is. Uh, uh, is not related to the thickness of the tree trunk or not. So and then for option D, some student they may uh misunderstood the concept and then think that oh the diameter of the silent vessels uh can be a factor, can be a cause. Okay, to accounts for the ascent of the water in the trees. So actually they are correct because for the silent vessel, okay, uh compare it with the tree trunk. Okay, they are very narrow. So that's why there will be a capillary effect. But for the capillary effect, okay, is not 
the major cause. So what does it mean the capillary effect? It means that uh, we have a uh, maybe a, a plate okay containing the water and then we put a very fine narrow capillary here and due to the uh, atmospheric pressure so that's why the water will be pushed okay uh, into the uh, capillary and then it it seems like that okay when we put the capillary tube okay into the water so it will suck up some water okay but it is not the major cause it can be a cause but it is not the major cause so that's why option d is also wrong